Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. I, again, don't have eyelash extensions and my spray tan on my face is blotchy. I clearly don't care what I look like on camera anymore. I have some funny story to tell you. I think it's hilarious. I heard Josh laughing on the toilet, so it must have been funny. Um, probably, it's. I feel like it's one of those things, though, where you had to have, like, been there. But I'm still going to tell you guys the joke because I think it's funny. So this morning, Josh had a chest x-ray. Yeah. <laughs> and his report came back today. Let me read it to you guys. Our normal lungs are clear, pleural space is normal, and thorax is normal. No evidence of pneumonia. Impression, normal chest. Good job, look at my report. Empty stomach, gastro area shows irritation from being hungry. Breakfast is recommended as a follow-up and patient is going to pass within one to two hours without seeking immediate treatment. He started laughing on the toilet. Yeah. I thought it was pretty funny, but it's definitely one of those things that you have to- Yeah, you have to be there. For it has, yeah, you gotta be there. We're on our way to, to Tim Hortons. We're getting steep teas. I'm gonna get a breakfast sandwich, and then we're gonna have the chestnuts. The only reason we're going to Tim Hortons and not McDonald's is, is for, for tea. steep tea. Yeah, because their coffee's compared to McDonald's. Yeah. I got my treatment. I got a sausage egg biscuit and a steep tea, and I'm gonna eat this, and then I'm gonna also have chestnuts. I don't think so. Why not? I don't think you're gonna do it. Wanna bet? No. The only time I have an appetite is in the morning, so I take advantage. Okay, sir. Also, I did my nails the other day. Are they cute? <sighs> I'm getting ridiculously good at them. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, if I ever need a side hustle, those are cute. So, we are going to make these chestnuts. <clears throat> they're such a good snack, and they're honestly so bomb. Some people put salt on them, I actually don't, which is very surprising considering I love salt. You boil them really quickly to make like a steam and then you roast them. I can already tell the shell is gonna come off easier from this cut. They're such a healthy and yummy snack and they're really good. They're like, they're not nutty. They're like a sweet and starchy type of nut. Like they're sweet, there's a sweetness to it. And if you put salt on it, it's sweet and salty. What are you doing, Joshua? Sorry. I cut some of them a little too much, but Okay, I'm so excited. We ate so many of these last Christmas. Was it last? No, it was the year before. Here is the final product. Oh God. Oh, oh my gosh, one of them is completely out of the shell already. Where'd it go? <gasps> Some of them are always moldy, so you gotta be careful. I don't know, is that moldy? Mm. I can't tell. So, what a chestnut tastes like is kind of like, it's sweet, it's starchy, but it's a little dry too. What do you think? Yeah, it's definitely dry. Those are good ways to peel them. I think they'd be really good out of the shell and then tossed in brown sugar. And butter. Mm. Yeah, butter and brown sugar. It tastes like a chestnut praline latte. Okay. Promotes a red... Protects your heart, contains antioxidants, boons brain, boons, boosts bone health and improves brain function, and helps reduce your risk of cardiovascular issues such as heart attack, disease, and stroke. These are really easy to peel. Use a different girl's recipe for the roasting time. I think they're a little bit over roasted because they're a little dry. I'm just saying for the way they come out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Way better. Way easier to eat. The other way, it's really hard. Look how pretty they look. Look a blooming flower. It also nourishes your stomach, spleen, and kidney. How do they know this? That's my question. For real. But you can consume too many. Really? Mm-hmm. No, it's too many. <laughs> I would assume like this every day. This once a year is probably fine. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of fiber in them, they're saying. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you can eat them on the toilet. These are drier than sawdust. Okay, we made them, I think, I don't oh. think we made them last year, but we made them two years ago. And we ate so many. We ate some, like, every couple days. These are dry. I don't know if I overcooked them. I followed a new recipe. I don't know. Maybe. Could be that. They're not as, like, flavorful as I remember. No, like, these used to be, like, sweet and, like, yeah. creamy. These literally are, like, I literally said like, I want a gag. I said to her, I was like, watch us get these chestnuts, because she's been talking about them. Watch us get these chestnuts, and they're like, just not the same as we remember, because that happens a lot. Like, we we used to eat certain things, certain meals, whatever, and then we wait like six or seven months, and she's like, oh my god, you know what we haven't had in a while? This, let's get it. And then we get it, and it's just not nearly as good as It's already it. so dry. 
I knew it would happen. I knew it. This is probably the equivalent of a saltine cracker. Dryness wise, yeah. <clears throat> I would say a little bit, a little bit less, but definitely comparable. Like if I didn't eat these without a drink? No, you couldn't. I don't remember them being like that. Chestnut challenge. Put as many as you can. I could fit a lot of nuts in my mouth. We know. We are a Christian household. Goodbye. I just finished editing a little bit. Yesterday I vlogged and most of my vlog was me just rambling. Honestly, it's probably really boring, but I feel like I haven't just like rambled on YouTube in a while. I feel like Patreon is my place to ramble. So I rambled a little bit and it is 12.30. I brushed my teeth. I have not showered yet because I'm gonna go to the gym after the doctor's, my doctor's office. So my gym is like about 15 to 20 minutes away from me depending on traffic, which in my city, that's pretty far at 2.15 for like this spot that's not going away on my chest. I'm like paranoid of skin cancer. I don't think it's skin cancer. I think it's just like scar tissue at this point because it's going away. But I booked the appointment when it was like more inflamed, but then I was sick, so I rescheduled it. And now that it's like a week later, at this point, there's like really nothing there. But I'm gonna go anyways, just because I booked the appointment and I'd rather have the peace of mind. And I'm gonna be near my gym. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the doctors. Well, first I'm gonna make a smoothie for Josh because he has a little break between work right now. So I'm gonna make him a smoothie for his meeting and then I am going to change, finish editing, upload that, change, head over to the doctor's, go to the gym, and then on my way home from the gym, I have to pick up a couple things from the grocery store because we're gonna make homemade sushi tonight. And you guys are gonna come along with me, okay? Let's make a smoothie. there's peanut butter stuck to the wall so this one I actually made a, li a little bit differently I usually don't add yogurt but we have leftover yogurt that is gonna go bad so I just added yogurt I think it needs more banana it probably needs more banana but we're not gonna add it no, I don't think I'm gonna add more banana I added kale today instead of spinach also because we didn't have spinach um, but we have kale and I haven't been eating it so we add kale Blueberries, coconut water, peanut butter, bananas. My blueberries weren't all frozen, so it was a little bit more liquidy than usual. And ice, so yeah. That's what I added to this. Our cups never get washed in the dishwasher. I don't know why. So we're gonna put Josh's in here and then put it in the fridge and he can grab it when he's up here. I did wash the kale, by the way. The bunch that was on the counter wasn't washed, but the stuff that I grabbed, I washed. Just wanna let you know. This is honestly the best way during pregnancy that I can get vegetables and fruit in. Well, mostly fruit. I eat a lot, quite a bit of vegetables, but I don't eat a lot of fruit. Me and Josh don't really eat a lot of fruit and sweet stuff. We're like, we like, we'd rather have like a bowl of veggies with bar butter and garlic salt. <laughs> this one's Josh's. And then mine, I think I'm going to put in like a to-go container and then take it on the way to the doctor's. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to work out after. So I might put it in here. I'm a little nervous because I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna end up working out after I have this fruit smoothie. I'm just gonna put it in here and then if I end up drinking it, I drink it if I don't. Out. Oh, I'm making a mess. This is kind of a lot. Kind of like too much. Oh my gosh, this is a lot. It's good, but it needs more banana. I'm gonna put this in the fridge, Josh is in the fridge, clean up, and then go for it. Update, I am not going to the gym. I went to, sorry about this, this is like a, um, was for Luca and I have to lift it up when I'm vlogging. Anyways, what I was saying was, I did not end up going to the gym. I, on my way to the doctor's appointment, I ended up having an anxiety attack and I just feel weird, I don't know. Like I said, this pregnancy is super weird. My energy is super, super low. I have a sports bra on, I have my gym bag, I have a water bottle, I have like extra pair of shoes. I literally brought headphones, I brought everything. I'm not going. <laughs> my plan was to go to the doctor's, go to the gym, and then go to the grocery store, come home, make sushi. But no, that's not happening. So um, luckily I do, I'm very blessed and I have the privilege of having a home gym where I have a spin bike, I have you know weights, I have things downstairs where if I really, or even just to walk, I have a treadmill. So if I really, really need to do something at home, 
I can do it, but I'm not gonna force myself to go to the gym while I have anxiety because that will just, I won't end up doing a good workout. Um, about the skin thing, I had this pimple that was like, I had a white head on it. I popped it and then it went like away. It kept scarring and the bump was still there and it's been like over a month that it's been there. So my doctor decided to pop it <laughs> and give me like a cream to prevent infection. So that's what that was. I have a very, I've been very paranoid about my skin because when I was a teenager, I went in the tanning bed a lot like an idiot and I didn't know how drastically it raises your skin cancer stuff. Like I knew that it like increased the risk, but I didn't know it was like by 60%. And like a lot of people aren't scared of skin cancer. I am because melanoma can literally kill you within months. So here is your sign. If you have any mole that looks weird, go check it out because people ignore their moles and it can get out of hand. 90% of them are usually fine and they could just be like removed, but 10% of those are not fine and can already spread to your whole body. So get checked, especially if you live somewhere hot like Arizona or Florida or California, Australia. I'm the type of person where I'd rather go like even if I, if everyone is telling me it's fine, I'd rather just go to the doctor because that's what they're there for, right? Like I'd rather go and just know everything's fine than ignore it and then wish I would have went sooner. You know what I'm saying? I'll see you guys when I get home. Here is the sushi making kit that I got. I just got it out of the shower, so I don't want to show you guys my face. <laughs> Here's my sushi making kit. It's not sponsored. I just bought this from Amazon. It is going to be linked in my Amazon storefront, which I have if you care. Um, you don't have to buy it from there, but I'm going to show you guys how it works. And then we have some gluten-free panko crumbs. I'm gonna bread the shrimp in this and then also just fry some up for my spicy crispy cheese roll, which is my favorite roll ever. And we have some gluten-free sushi nori, 10 sheets, that's it. Well, 10 roll, actually 10 rolls is a lot. I forgot that this makes a whole roll, not a piece. <laughs> gluten-free soy sauce, kikkoman. Some Tabasco sriracha sauce, which I wanna try. Mix it with um, some mayo and make spicy mayo. And then we have rice, seasoned rice vinegar. I'm not really sure. It says on the back like how to make it for sushi. You just add a little bit. I think it worked. <gasps> oh shit. <gasps> Wait. Oh my god. Wait. Shut up. Right. Okay. Because the sh there's too much shrimp and the rice wasn't touching. Suck it back in. All right, good. Real slow and steady. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. Slow and oh my steady. god. Oh my god. Be so careful with this one. This is gonna be the best one you've done. Don't put too much pressure, like you are right now. <laughs> I don't wanna, I have to put some type of tug or else it's gonna be a loose roll. Yeah, no, I know. Like I gotta roll back sometimes and do a little tug. Oh my God. Oh! <laughs> I'm scared. Don't touch it too hard. Here, g g put that on your plate and you can cut it. Yourself. You know what one I think might cut really good? That one is fine. What do you want me to do? Put it on your own plate. That's yours. That's way too nice. No, this is yours. No, it's not. I, w I want cream cheese in mine. Oh. Because <laughs> we pushed it in too much. Oh. Okay. 
getting too cocky? Yeah. Oh. Oh god. What? No, no, go. No, I was... He's so very gentle. <laughs> So you're rolling it? Oh my gosh, should I? What if it's bad? Uh -huh. Are you gonna be upset? No. Well, it tastes the same. Doesn't matter how it looks. Are you laughing at? Huh? What are you laughing at? Nothing. Okay, it's great, right? Mm -hmm. But there's no rice here to to hold it together. I know. I wonder if you uh like wet your finger and like. What do we think? I don't know. That was okay. terrible. That goes over there. Okay. You want the shrimp? Yeah. I'm gonna try cutting mine. Cutting it. We're just gonna eat them as rolls. I have cream cheese, cucumber, and breadcrumbs in here. I'm just gonna eat it like a hand roll because cutting it is making it fall apart. <laughs> hey guys, long time no talk. <laughs> uh, today actually, um, I still have to work today, but I actually got this super, super cool, well, super good deal on something. So. I had somebody on my Facebook um, that I guess they're closing a store that they own and basically they're doing like a get rid of everything sale. So what what I did is I messaged them to see if you know there was any of what I'm actually putting the camera in right now, if there was any left and there was. So I went and picked it up today. My brother came and helped me. So shout out to my brother. Thank you. Because we had to go to a mall to go grab it to bring it home. So initially, I literally only wanted to buy it because I thought it was just too good of a deal to not buy. It was like one of those things where you're like, okay, yeah, no, I, I definitely have to buy that. And there was really nowhere for us to put it inside the house. Like in our house right now, there was literally nowhere for this thing to go. But with that being said, I really didn't think about reselling it until I got home with it and I started to research because I didn't actually I just knew that it was a good deal based on how it looked and what it was for the price that it was offered for then I got home and I actually looked into this specific thing which I'm gonna show you guys turns out that it's a lot more expensive than I thought it was and with that to top it off this thing doesn't come with lights originally so the store actually installed a bunch of lighting in this thing to make it look even better so now i have kind of hit the jackpot and i'm hoping that i can resell it and you know make some decent money on it so this is what i bought i have to kind of stand let me turn the light on here so this is don't mind the garage it's all winter stuff so this is the book sh the bookshelf case thing that i bought it has all the lighting in there which it doesn't come with originally right so this is how it looks it has the drawers right that open so it has shelving down there three shelves here and it has the lights so it's a super super nice shelf and literally i brought it home fully anticipating keeping it even for like future use let's say you know in case hey maybe we need it for something or maybe you know even in the kids room it could it could it could be something that we can use in there but there's really no room for it right now and then when i saw the price of it i was kind of like okay this is a no-brainer right so this for sale right now is 420 dollars plus taxes okay just for the shelf now when you add lighting obviously any sort of lighting is going to enhance especially a shelf especially a bookcase so if you add lighting into it that 420 dollars would have honestly with the lighting i don't think it would have been a crazy expensive but it probably would have added another 50 60 dollars of value if i'm being realistic i would love to say it added another hundred dollars which in some cases it might 
But with this, I would value it at probably 50, 60 bucks worth of lighting. I didn't anticipate on selling it, and I'll be very transparent with you guys. I bought this for 100 bucks. I'm gonna post it probably for 400 because. I know they're brand new 420 and with lighting they probably would be like 470, 480, maybe even 500. But considering it is, it is used, I'm gonna put it for 400 and see what I can get for it. I'm in no rush to sell it. It can stay in the garage perfectly fine. So I'm in no rush to get rid of it. So we might make 300 bucks on this thing just because. And I, I bought it anticipating we were gonna use it and then I got home and I looked at the price and I go, well, we don't really need it. And that's a lot of money to make on a quick flip. So wish me luck, I'll keep you guys posted.